The Irishman is a crime thriller epic film directed by Martin Scorsese. Uh, it is a sort of swan song culmination of his gangster movie career. Uh, it has an all-star cast, a large budget. Uh, it's a really interesting film for starters. I now realize why he got so angry at uh, Marvel's success with uh, Avengers Endgame. If you remember, uh, he, he had this whole uh, video about how like superhero films are not cinema, and he got really jealous because this movie costs around 175 to 250 million dollars. It's his most ambitious film to date with uh, all-star cast, um, special camera rigs for de-aging effects, makeup effects, a super large cast, um, and a three and a half hour running time. That movie barely made any money at the box office. And then it only got released in theaters so it could uh, qualify for uh, Oscar potential. And then it was released quickly on Netflix. So uh, he was sore about that, I think, because Avengers Endgame is three hours long as well. But The Irishman is about Frank Sheeran, a uh, low-level truck driver, family man, who uh, by chance meeting meets a mafia man on the road, and uh, they become friends, and he ends up stealing meat for another gangster and gets in trouble, however they cover him, and when he's will not willing to not, uh, you know, narc on them, then uh, they trust him and he ends up becoming a sort of hitman for the mob because he was in the war, he's got experience with guns and killing, and uh, he ends up becoming friends with Hoffa and other large uh, cr crime figures throughout the years. So this movie, I noticed that it's really interesting because it's less of a glorified gangster movie. It almost feels like the end movie of a trilogy. It feels like the end of an era, almost, uh, mainly because uh, the movie starts with uh, Frank in an old folks home. He's an invalid, uh, really old, uh, a nursing home, recounting his life, his regrets, and the movie doesn't glorify the gangster lifestyle. It sort of uh, talks about like all the different things he had to do, how he had to work his way up, the tumultuous time throughout the decades, and uh, the relationships that frayed over the years as he had to do more and more for the family and neglecting his own family. Um, the cast does a really good job. I thought that Robert De Niro's contacts were really distracting at times. Uh, he looked really weird. Kind of reminded me of uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt in uh, Looper. You know, it looked kind of weird. But uh, overall, the de-aging effects were pretty cool. Uh, I like the story. It's a very slow burn movie. It's a little long, indulgent, but it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, I also liked how it was a sort of swan song of the culmination of all of his gangster movies. You know, it's not uh, a glorification of the gangster lifestyle like uh, other movies where like you can do whatever you want, like Goodfellas or Casino or uh, Mean Streets. Uh, this is more of a, you know, I'm an old man with no one left and I uh, regret everything I've done. Uh, so The Irishman is a really interesting crime film. It's definitely not really accessible though. If you're someone who's never seen a Scorsese film or you don't like crime thrillers, you probably will be bored. But I uh, was really, I really liked the themes and uh, it was really uh, well acted. I really liked the return of Joe Pesky. So, um, Joe Pesci. So, uh, yeah, it was a really interesting film. I give uh, The Irishman a 7.5 out of 10.